Hey everybody, welcome to Kerbal Space Program Career Mode with me, Reinstein. What we see here is the rocket that's gonna take us to Minmus. I'm pretty confident about it. Uh, I have done a trial run and managed to get into orbit around Minmus and come back, so I'm gonna hopefully try and replicate that right now for us. Um, I've now unlocked EVA, so we'll be able to EVA Jebediah once we get there. So without further ado, let's power up our rocket I don't see this going without any hitches, but I do see us getting a lot of science assuming we can get to Minmus. Uh, this could be the greatest mission any Kerbal has ever achieved. What are those red things coming out of the bottom of my rockets there? Slightly disconcerting. <laughs> but this is going to be awesome if I can do this. The amount of science we get should be well over 100, which I think you'll agree will be... A huge boost to our hopes of overtaking NASA as the best uh, space agency in the world, even if NASA aren't actually in the game. We're still competing against them. We're more like the Russians at the moment, but we're going to get there, believe you me. Still don't know what that red thing is underneath my rocket, but what the hell. Okay, so we're doing good here. We are gaining a nice altitude, just making sure our rocket doesn't decide to stray too far over to the right there. What I will do once we reach a little bit higher is start to tilt my incline just right. I think we'll let that go right now uh, because that will start creating our movement around to the right which will make us orbit uh, curbing clockwise. Yeah, clockwise which is pretty much what I want to do. So now we're at a good height. I'm going to start to tilt even more use some of this fuel we have on board to get us heading right like we are like so so I can actually cut my throttle now and I'm gonna create just a stable orbit around Kerbin before going on my little journey towards um towards Minmus so here we go okay and that's not gonna be high enough for my liking there we go I don't think we'll need to do the burn quite as I've done the maneuver here but Nonetheless, it will take us into a stable orbit eventually, so bear with me while I concentrate for a few. And let's just speed up time. If I can press the right button, that would be a good help. Microphone's in the way. <laughs> Here we go, we're heading there. And I've now decided to start using Z, rather, which will increase my thrust to max rather than shift. Because I, I think Z's going to give me a more accurate um, maneuver. So let's see, so our rocket still has four, over 4,000 meters per second delta V. Very healthy, I think you'll agree. All right, we've run out of fuel on this stage, so let's decouple those, and away we go. We're onto our single big dildo-shaped rocket. There it is, it's like a flying phallus. <laughs> Do you know what? I might actually create another maneuver now when we get to this apoapsis just to tidy things up a little bit and I think that's reduced the amount of Delta V we need to use change in velocity again that's what Delta V means uh, once you do science at a level and stuff then you or physics sorry then you soon learn that kind of stuff love science I wish I'd have um, I wish I'd have done more of it to be honest but I messed up my a levels so didn't go on to do that when I went on to actually do accounting would you believe <laughs> Needless to say, a bit too boring for my liking, so YouTube is my route to success. With that in mind, if you do want to support my videos, don't hesitate to go and visit patreon.com. There's a link in my description box where you can go visit and contribute from as little as $1 a month, which will be immensely helpful as it will enable me to purchase more games, a better microphone, and uh, I'll put your name in the end credits and even give you a, a little certificate. Which I've designed rather beautiful the three patreons I have at the moment I've actually given the certificate already and they're getting some good feedback from it they like it so there we are all right there is our maneuver we're in a nice little orbit around Kerbin now and so the place we want to get to is Minmus now if you will notice it's on a slightly different incline to our orbit around Kerbin so we're going to need to change that a little bit. Where is our rocket and which way is it going? It's going that way. So at this descending node here, 
I'm going to perform a maneuver that will hopefully straighten out the incline uh, of our orbit and match more closely that of Minmus, which will enable us to intercept it a lot easier. Now you can see I need a delta V of 195.6 for this maneuver, which will leave us around about 2,500, a bit more than that, uh, delta V to do our maneuver towards Minmus and then back again. So here we go. Let's speed up the game engine a little bit to get to our maneuver point. And there we go. We don't want to overshoot it. So we'll start our burnout. Z for maximum thrust. Can't believe I've never used that before. <laughs> what a noob. There we go. That should have got us within an acceptable degree tolerance area. 0 0.6 degrees. So where is Minmus? Minmus is there. Uh, so let's see where we need to create our maneuver from. Now this might take a bit of fiddling. So bear with me as I concentrate on it. So that looks like it's nowhere near it. What about, ah, it looks like round here will be where we'll create our intercept. Let's see. I might need to move that even further out. There we go, round about there, I reckon. Let's zoom out a little bit. There we go, we have an intercept there, but we need to just tidy that up ever so slightly. There we go. And Mimus's gravity is really low, so you have to be quite precise with this uh, maneuver you're performing here. There we go, that looks good enough for me. And that burn is 862, which will leave us with 1800 approximately uh, meters per second delta V remaining to get back and perform our closer encounter with Mimus. How awesome. We can actually do EVAs now, by the way. So, what I'm going to do right now, before we do our manoeuvre, is do a little EVA. Wow, look at that. Look at that shot. That's the money shot right there. A little EVA, and we get eight science for that. So we can now beam that back. Review stored data and transmit it. That will leave us with an electric charge of 196. Ample, methinks. So let's position our rocket again towards this little blue node. Stay with me guys, I know this is a bit slow, but it's very precise you have to be, so stay with me. And if you don't want to, just fast forward and see how I manage to land this bad boy back on Kerbin, if I do. Not fully confident on that, I haven't tested that at all. <laughs> but uh, providing I follow all the rules I've established in my previous videos, I should be able to do it. There we go. Power up our thrust completely. Now, with these bones, you do need to be a bit more precise than when you're trying to create your orbit around Kerbin, uh, because any sort of additional velocity or too little velocity will make you completely miss your uh, encounter with the planet. Now we've lost this stage, so we need to engage our little mini stage. And that's going to increase our burn time just a little bit, but within acceptable margin of error, I think. Let's see how this goes. 250 meters per second left. We're just breached under 2,000 meters per second delta V remaining in our rocket. Here we go. We're still going. Oh, God. Oh, God. The rocket's going all over the place. Am I really doing this without my SAS turned on? That is quite frankly ridiculous. But somehow I've managed to do it. We have our encounter with uh, Minmus. Sorry. Here we go. And we are approaching in five, four, Three, uh, two and a half, uh, two. We'll be there in a second. <laughs> All right, let's see how close we're getting. Nicely, nicely. Now, I want to get as close as I can to do my readings. There we go. There's our encounter. Beautiful. Now, I could just do the readings from here, but I'm going to just prove to you and myself how good this rocket is that I've designed. So that will get us within 49,000 meters of Minmus's surface. So we should be able to get a good little screenshot if we wanted to. Now I'm going to press F5 here to quick save my game. And fast forward the game engine. We've got basically a 12 second burn here in order to get close enough to Minmus. There we go. Oh, we've overshot just a little bit, but not too big of a deal. Still got over 1700 meters per second left. And look at that. This is going... This is going superbly well. There we go. That's good enough for me. We will be within 59,000 meters. So I'm going to go. In fact, what I'm going to do is to take a couple of readings here, beam them back, and then 
take some other readings. So let's have a look what we've got. We've got our press map barometer on board now. So if we take that, that gives us a 50% reading. 12.5% uh, science. That'll take us down a bit more. Let's do an EVA while we're here. Look at that. Jeb is just cruising through the atmosphere. Another 20 science, so we'll take that. And we can even do a temperature reading as well. Let's have a little look. 20 science. So let's just send that transmission. And we've still got quite a lot of electricity left. We don't want to waste all our electricity, remember? So now let's get even closer. Continue our maneuver around Mimus. Look at that. And we can we can we'll be able to see it now when we go back to this view. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Look how close we are. Oh my god, it's within touching distance. Let's do our little pressure reading again so we can get 15 more science from that. Temperature reading, another 10 science. Yeah, let's review the stored data here. We'll beam that back, I think. And we'll take another crew report. That's no good whatsoever. Let's do an EVA. Look at Jeb just hanging on for dear life there. Damn it, Jeb. Engage rockets. Grab. Grab, Jeb. Ah, oh, Jeb's lost contact with his ship. Oh, he grabs on. Oh, he's, he's back. Phew. All right, now let's observe our materials bay. 62 and a half science. Nice. Now, is there anything I've forgotten? Don't think there is, is there? Crew report wasn't going to give us anything. All right, beautiful. Now, the only thing we're really missing is mystery goo. So, we've now done our mission. We might as well create our maneuver and head back towards Kerbin now. This is going to be the fun part. All right, we need to beam this way. And just a little delta V change. I don't know why SAS keeps getting disengaged, but it does. There we go. Just a tiny burn to escape the gravity of Mimus. And we are heading on our way back home very shortly. Look at that. Now, if we just do a little burn from the periapsis, so we'll set. Can we set our target? No, never mind. Do a little burn at the periapsis like so let's just take a look here 434 drag that a little bit closer 17,000 that looks like a good encounter to be honest should be able to skim the surface of the earth and come in nice and soft here we go let's just skip forward a little bit there we go I think that's good enough we should do our burn now it only requires 240 meters per second to get our encounter back with uh, Kerbin, so we're actually this is this rocket is super super good. I don't even need to take this much fuel with me I, I kind of overspent But never mind there. We are We're gonna be back in touch good good good. So now let's fast forward And our journey back to um Kerbin will be almost complete Here we go. We're getting closer Where is it? Where's Kerbin? Will Reinstein make it? There it is. Look at that. Beautiful sight. We're coming in around this side, are we? All right, then. There we go. It's slingshotting around the side. And we're inside the gravitational pull of Kerbin. Will, will it slow us down enough, though? I wonder. There we go. We're burning up now. Ah! Uh, should I jettison this part of my rocket? Doesn't look like we can. We're carrying this with us. Oh god, please don't blow up. This is my main concern. Oh damn, let's change our camera angle. Camera free. Whee! Right, I'm Jebediah. Have I even got enough ablator in here? I hope so. I only took 40 with me. Uh, well, looks good so far. What? Oh god, something blew up. Oh god, something blew up again. Jebediah, please don't die on re-entry. Oh my god, he's become... He's become detached. No! All that science. No! Please! Everything's burning. Crew report, Jeb. Tell me what's going on, bro. I can't. Everything is broken, sir. Uh, all right, then. <clears throat> Review data. Well, we're going to bring back some data. That's the main thing, I guess. Oh, that sucks. So it was the Science Junior. So we'll have to try and remember this. Maybe we should put some radiator panels on the side of it. That would work. 
Oh, so that's what we have to do. Well, it looks like we might be journeying back to Minmus then. Here we go, we're coming in hot, son. Oh my god, there's no parachutes on the side of this thing anymore. The parachutes are gone, no! Jeb, you're gonna die, mate. There's no chance of you surviving this, is there? Is there? It's as if it were in a vacuum. God, I thought this was gonna be a successful mission. I'm sorry, Jeb, but you're gonna die, sir. Ablators run out as well. Damn, son. Perhaps we should have come in not quite as shallow as this. There's nothing protecting this from the heat of the environment now. You all right there, Jeb? Yeah, I'm fine. Keep data. Well, at least we can get some data out of this if Jeb makes it back alive. What is this red line? What is that? Is that a graphical bug? Or have I pressed something by accident? Oh, Jeb, maybe I can EVA you and save you that way. Look at that, it's heading down, down to the surface. I might try and jump him out at the last second. Oh god, 150 meters per second. No! And Jeb died. All right, prepare for a rerun of that mission in speeded up motion without commentary. 